Welcome back to the channel, Loving Life New Yorker. I'm Andrew and I've had so many positive comments about my evening walks and things. I've decided to bring you another one tonight. So tonight we're going to do an evening walk along the Port of Poyensa to see what's going on. So without further ado, let's get on with the walk. Well, it's half past seven and as you can see, it's looking absolutely gorgeous today. There's a few people still sitting on the beach having their sandwiches, but it's just a lovely, lovely way to spend a few hours of an evening. I'm a little way out the port, but already I can see people enjoying their evening meals in the restaurants. There's lots of cars parked up, many people walking around, which is nice to see, isn't it? And again, there's umbrellas and sun lounges along here. As you can see, some of them haven't even been used today because they're still neatly stacked up from well, last night or this morning when they've tied them up. Nice to see the beach bar still open, isn't it? And there's toilets and showers along here for everyone to clean off the sand before heading towards home. It's just lovely watching this, the sun go down, isn't it? Look at the boats. It's just like everywhere else. You can, you can rent out the um, beach boats. Just having my first little paddle of the day. And it's, it's lovely and warm actually. I love having a paddle, as you all know. It's just so refreshing, isn't it, for the feet and things. And we're in the middle of September now. So it just makes it all extra special, if you like. It's children playing or people playing volleyball over there. Nice to see people still out. There's people paddling, still swimming in there. So I say, still playing volleyball. Lots of people walking around. Um, good amount of people having drinks and food in restaurants. So I'm gonna rejoin the road from the beach and just walk over this little bridge. Again in the um, in the summer, all well, year round really, you can you can see the fish and everything that's on it. It's just, it's just so nice to stand here all, and a couple of seats out of there and just watch the world go by when you're here. It's just something something about um, the island as a whole that's so very very relaxing. So nice to see so many shops, but restaurants and all that down here that are open. It makes, as I said in the last couple of videos, it makes a nice atmosphere, doesn't it? When it's people walking around and things. Locals walking the dogs. people on bicycles and things.
Doesn't it look so nice? This is a lovely place to come and have a have a little look around is Porto Poyenza, which is up the north of the island, quite near Okudia and all around that way. Which has got the the mountains is over the over there as you can see in the distance. I've ridden over the over the mountains on my bicycle. It's quite a nice little ride actually. It's, But as you can see here, it does get very busy in the evenings. And remembering we are at the middle of September now. It's just nice to see it's still alive, isn't it? Still going. And you can rent, if you like your boat trips, you can rent boat trips, rent boats from here. Just in these cabins just here. Plenty of car park spaces. Simply a beautiful beach, especially when the sun starts going down. It shows different colours, doesn't oh, it? <laughs> it? Shows all different colours when the sun starts going down. All the jet skis in there, ready to be rented out. Boats. <laughs> So you can rent one out if you've got a license or haven't got a license. There's a, a boat for everyone, should I say. And then there's a trip of, for everyone. Some beautiful places round just by the top here to, to have a look, especially by the sea. The coves and things, you know, it's just beautiful. So you can see here's a very busy port. There's lots of boats of all shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna cross this road now and start on the path that's got all the restaurants and things with beautiful views. You know, oh look, some markets, a few market stalls as well. So this, this path here eventually becomes the Pine Walk. So it's got lots of restaurants up here and cafes and a few shops and things and a lovely little evening market as well, which is quite nice. It's lovely, isn't it, to see an evening market. <laughs> and a lot of this stuff here, as you can see, is actually made by the um, market traders, if you like, for a better word. So this is all quite nice, isn't it? And of course, the other side of the path, you can see the sea and swimming pools and different things that the hotels put for your enjoyment, a few restaurants and things and a bar. I think the long here is really lovely. It's a lovely place to um, go and have a paddle or swim just along here, have a meal, have a drink. Honestly, you can really lose yourself for a few hours along this part. And then you've got the restaurants, haven't you? So it's the same. And it's nice to see them so busy, isn't it? Having their evening meals. And there's hotels along here as well. So there's a, a mixture in there, a few bits and pieces, shops and, and so on, clothes shops.
Along here in the winter months, there are a few restaurants open along here. We do enjoy coming, especially with Snowy. She's a good girl, she sits under the table as we're eating our, our dinner. Lots of people taking photos along here. It's such a, a pretty little area just around here. And you've got, you've got the looky looky people, of course. These always make me love the looky looky because as soon as a policeman come, you, you should see them run. They put, they put them on a blanket, all their goods, because if one shouts to the other one when the police are coming, they just grab the four corners of the blanket, pick up and literally leg it out of sight. The police know what's going on, but they don't seem to want to know if that makes sense i don't think they really care but they've got to be showing a little interest as it were haven't they it's quite nice isn't it now there's another hotel put some flowers and and some lights out and things it's just nice to have a little sit down as I've said in the evening apart from the seats you it's, it's all this wall you can sit on as well If you're coming and walking down the Pine Walk, at the end there's a military base and that's obviously where it finishes, that is the end of it. But it's nice to walk along there, you've got, obviously you've got locals own these houses along here. See loads of people outside enjoying um, meals they've cooked and some of them are holiday places. Some very famous people live in some of them and own some of them as well. You'll often see Bradley Wiggins, the um, famous cyclist, along here as well. So you'll never miss out on an inflatable. They do make an effort though, some of these houses with the flowers and things. I think they look really nice. The sun is going down properly now, isn't it? Within the next few minutes, there'll just be the moon that's just there. And they'd lights from the cafes and restaurants. So you find smaller restaurants the further around the pine walk you go. So you've got some lovely 
areas as I was saying, very different shapes, plenty of chairs to sit on. I've noticed people having pizzas on the beach tonight which I think is quite nice. It's nice to see the moon, isn't it? The moonlight on the water as well. So there's another 10 minutes walk or so round to the military base. You pass more of the sea and different things. But what I wanted to point to you at the moment was how strange these trees are growing here. I don't know if you've noticed this before, it's quite a few where the, the roots have just come out of the ground differently and just gone, gone as so. I think that's really nice how eh? so that sort of thing had a few of them along here, so I was saying. And anyway, I'm not going to go around any more. But any further, as I said, there's only the military camp around there and the walk, which is lovely, but I've done it so many times in the sun. I've got to be careful when it gets dark because obviously my eyesight does get very worse and I do need to have a good street light, which as you can see isn't much further along here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off from the pine walk and then I'm going to head into the town, uh, past the shops, into the square where the church is and all the rest of it all and there's some big cafes restaurants there just have a look at the buzz round there so it's been quite nice here it's not been over busy but it's, i've had plenty of space as you can see and it's just it's just nice to come here for a, a meal or a holiday or something all year round going back going back the trees again this is growing in somebody's garden and it's broken through and it's just ended up, so that's quite nice as well, isn't it? So it's just gone quarter past eight, and the sun has more or less gone down completely now. All we've got left are the street lights, the restaurant shop lights, the boats, and the moon. Just left the pine walk now behind me, walking into towards the town. Everywhere you look are restaurants and it smells really nice when you walk past them. So this is the road you'll find a lot of the shops on. And even though many of them will be closed now, it's still nice to have a look in the windows and see what's going on. If you're enjoying my channel, I'd love you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to comment about anything, you know, what if you'd like me to visit somewhere, if it's at all possible, and what you'd like to see more of markets, beaches, quaint villages, towns, that sort of thing. Because I'd like to I'd like to film basically what you'd like to see. And all this stuff is important to help my channel grow. That's one of the hotels we saw on the way down. Lovely little place, isn't it? And I've also got a GoFundMe page, which is like basically a, it's a, a tip jar, you know, buy me coffee or that sort of thing, a meal, or help me towards a trip or something, you know, something along those lines to make the videos. I'll, link the, I'll leave the link below in the comments box, but it really does help with the making of the films and just about everything like that, buying equipment and different things. It really is appreciated. And just up the side street here, you'll find the centre, where you'll find lots and lots of restaurants and things, and also the weekly market. But the restaurants do make, um, make it brighten up, and the church, of course. And if you come down here in the evening, it really is nice, and obviously been a local area you'll find a lot of these places also open in the winter so we do come round here quite a lot and have a meal in the winters 
you can see it really is um really is happening around here isn't it lots of people eating the same they have the market here as well more restaurants around here and the shake a stick hat as they say you have a just a drink they're open a lot of them are open all day you can just have a drink or a meal during the day or whatever but it's nice to to sponsor the local places isn't it Nice to see the local children out and playing, isn't it? And it's, and it's very dark at the moment, but that is the, the local church there. There's people setting up guitar and microphone to have a few songs by the looks of it. But that's the church just there. So this is the centre. It's got a very lovely atmosphere here, to be honest, with all the children on the rides and people in the restaurants and different things. So just following the road up from where the square is, you will find the bus stop or the bus station, which all the buses do come here. We have got a nice modern fleet of buses on the island, I'm talking about, and they're really clean and nice looking. Um, and quite frequent as well. If you do would like to know about the buses, tap in Google or whatever you use, TIB Mallorca, and they will um, have a complete printout of the bus service. And the top of the road, you'll find lots and lots of schools, and you also find the bus station, the bus stop. And you'll get here, it's a lovely way of having a look round the island. Here you'll go to uh, Poyenza, Porto Poyenza, Alcudia, and all different places. It's a worth forming tour, beach and forming tour with the lighthouses. So this is the top of the Porto Poyenza. So it's just off the square. You'll find extra little restaurants. And then with the square behind me, you'll find a few more restaurants, some takeaways and different things. And this takes you down to the, um, the main shopping road again, where I'm gonna turn right and head back towards the port again. And then down here, you've got a few more local shops. Uh, nice to look in, all, all different types of shops, you know, sort of supermarkets down to local shops. A few more like side roads, bicycle rental places. Down there is back to the beach. But I'm going to be walking down this side alley again. It's got another restaurant and a few bits down. There's so many side alleys to see round here. So many different restaurants of different kinds. And everybody seems so friendly. The um, restaurant owners <laughs> and the holiday makers as well. And again, we're back, we saw the boats earlier. So quite honestly, 
I think that's probably the end of the walk. So thanks for watching tonight's film. If you enjoyed it, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget the Facebook page, Love and Love Mallorca. And I shall see you in the next film. You take care of each other. Bye for now.